Ahoy, mateys, and welcome to this League of Legends extravaganza. Uh, today is the CSL Round 11 uh, League of Legends tournament. Uh, round 11 of the CSL League of Legends tournament. And I think... Uh, hold on just one second. Seems to be an issue with the lobby. Uh, yeah, somebody's lobby, lobby bugged out. So I guess we'll be getting <laughs> started. Uh, client. Yeah, we'll be getting started later than we expected. But as we were saying earlier, it's uh, CSL Round 11. Yeah, the last one. The last, yeah, it's the last game of the season for Team Demacia. And we're against Missouri. Missouri Baptist University. Yeah, Missouri Baptist yeah. University, yeah. So, yeah, so um, we noticed in, in Champ Select, everybody's in a different order than usual. Yeah. And there's a Shaco ban. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if they actually uh, stick to it. And if they do, everybody's in a different position, a role that they usually play other than Macarena. Yeah. So we'll see. An anti ban from Missouri Baptist, um, which is targeted at Eddie probably. Yeah. Um, and a Mordekaiser ban, targeted. which it should target. be targeted at, uh, towards the top lane, but. The big brain plays coming out from Park here. Swap and rolls. That way, all bans are completely nullified. Hey, yeah, exactly. There's exactly. no way that they'll ban out the champions if they don't know what role they're right. playing. Right, and, and that, that Missouri Baptist is banning out what they usually play, so it's and maybe all, working. Also, we have a we have a slight roster change as well. Yeah. Where um, so Hitbox OP has been subbed out uh, and replaced with uh, Jared, Jared Panic. Panic. Yeah, he's J Rod three one zero. You can see him there, the fourth on the left. Well, there goes the Rock idea because they oh. pick Soraka. So. Unfortunately, yeah. Soraka top has been doing pretty well lately. We'll see if it's if it's taken bot lane or top lane. We'll see. So we got Kaylin and Swain coming out first picks from Park here. Likely both of them going into the bot lane with the Mumu jungle. Uh, we will see if this. Uh, if they stay in their, these positions or if they end up swapping them to the correct roles here later. Yeah, because they're supposed to be in position based on what role they are. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They were swapping around a lot in pregame lobby. So, it looked like they were switching roles, but now I'm not 100% certain. Yeah, these picks are, are very standard yeah. From, yeah. from Park. Lee Sin pick coming up, and then a Velikos ban. Lee Sin is one of the top tier junglers. He's not like the most top tier jungler, but he's always relevant just yeah. because he has such a high skill expression. I mean, I'd say that all of uh, Missouri Baptist University's champions right now are top tier with Sinna, Soraka, and Lee Sin all being yeah. some of the highest win rate champions mm -hmm. in the game right I'm now. I'm curious to see if that's, if they're just going to keep Soraka support or move it top because I feel like Soraka Sinna is a pretty solid lane because yeah, very incredible heavy poke. Mm -hmm. yeah. A Yorick ban as well. And I feel like that ban is also targeted against somebody who isn't in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I feel like I didn't see uh, Hitbox OP play York that often, maybe. He used to. Yeah, uh, he, okay. yeah he used to play a lot of York. Okay. So, who knows? Let's see what the final two picks are from Missouri Baptist here. Or at least one from them, and then next from Park. Looks like an aura. Okay, so Soraka is going to be support more than likely. And uh, Fiora coming out oh. for, for Park, likely going in the top lane there. And the final pick for Park is... So the mid laner. Yeah, look, looking for a mid laner most likely, possibly a support if uh, Swain goes mid. But I think they need more poke. Yeah, mm, more poke maybe. Either more poke or more hard team fight like an Orion or something like Because I don't think an assassin will be useful at all. Or a uh, nope, yeah. looks okay, like a well. So. I think they aren't swapping. So yeah, it yeah. looks like it looks like they just got in out of Yeah, it looks yeah. like they're in or they're out of position in the picks, but for some reason they all chose comfortable champions for them specifically. So yeah. they yeah, should be in their correct so. roles anyways. Mm -hmm. And so it looks like a fizz coming in last from Missouri Baptist University. Okay. Okay. Then why were they swapping around I, in free game lobby? I'm not yeah. sure. It, it seems that Park just forgot how to properly how to play yeah, <laughs> like pro legends. properly place their uh, place their stuff there. It's but, very busy uh, today. So we have we're gonna have Panda in the mid lane, Speak Russian to me, ADC, Geronimo jungle, J Rod top, 
Macarena support for Park. And then on the Missouri Baptist University side, we have Jungle Zoom in the top lane, uh, Rip Stoli in the jungle. Uh, I'm going to say Giru, Giru X, uh, mid lane, Hero Flash, uh, ADC, and then Get Brained On support. Now, looking at these matchups, as a jungler, the Lee Sin and Mumu matchup looks pretty, pretty, um, pretty tough. Pretty tough for the Amumu, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. Lee Sin really likes to invade. He's got enough damage early on to take on even tankier champions like Amumu. And Amumu doesn't really have a good escape or way to deal with him. He's got a lot of CC, but it requires him to get up in your yeah. face. So it's going to be rough for the Amumu, especially a champion like that who doesn't handle getting invaded yeah. well. Then you have I, I think their bot lane will be fine because with the Swain Caitlyn, they, yeah. they should just farm mm -hmm. and they can poke back. And then top lane will go. I think top lane is going to be mainly skill matchup because Fior can outplay an Orn with the Vitals. Uh, and then mid lane is just going to be rough. Yeah, Orn, does, Orn has a lot of magic uh, upfront magic damage as yeah. well. So that's going to be, you know, the Fiora repost handling the the, st the stun, the yeah. knock up. I, I would take. Uh, corrupting 100% with Fiora, mm -hmm. and then just proc vitals. So, and then the mid lane, it's a Lux versus a Fizz. My so. expectation is that the Lux should do okay before level 6, having the rage advantage on the Fizz, but once it hits level 6, Fizz's ultimate should... Uh, I, I honestly think level should. level 3, Lux is going to lose 100%. Yeah, it's possible. Because you just play yeah. full Trickster, and then it's unfortunate for the Lux. Yeah, because Lux is all about zoning and keeping you away, but if you can... Yeah. Be invulnerable yeah. through the through the CC, then it doesn't really matter. And and, and from my experience, uh, watching and laning against Panda, he uses his abilities very liberally. Um, mm -hmm. So as soon as he uses his Q, uh, which is his stun, that leaves Fizz open just to p poke and then get back out. Right. Well, we'll see here in a second. Um, the the bot lane for Park, I could foresee some uh, some kills possibly coming towards them, but the so the Sinisaraka lane is very good if you're looking for pokes and extended harassment because they can heal up a lot of the damage. But if you're able to get an all in and one v one then or two v two then immediately and try and one hundred zero their health bar, you should be able to get kills on them. So I could if Swain's able to hit a root and pull in either one of them, really, yeah. Caitlyn might be able to land a trap and then just chain together the CC long enough for them to get a That's kill. Cool. And, and Senna's damage early on is not, yes. very, not very strong. Mm -hmm. so. Especially when you're playing two long-range champions yeah. in the bot lane, she can't bully as hard if you were playing a melee support. Yeah, that, that lane, it has a lot of sustain, but it also tries to bully a lot. But, yeah. it, you know, it's just too long. It's too far of a range, so... Um, although after I think I think once they hit level six, they're going to be too hard to kill. Yeah. So, so Senna Soraka. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So Soraka will have her ultimate, which is the team wide heal, and then Senna with her ultimate, which gives herself and whoever she hits with it a shield as well. So it's and if you notice as well, they have a barrier heal bot lane, so they're even harder to kill with that. Exactly. And with Senna shields, and I'm I'm yeah. expecting, or both both of them should try to freeze wave. Yeah. under their own tower um but i'm curious how that's gonna work because whoever pushes harder faster is not gonna have a fun time yeah unless yeah unless uh park plays way too forward in the bot lane i don't foresee them dying unless yeah. the jungle comes exactly. i think the bot lane is going to be very i think it's going to depend on yeah. the jungle it'll depend a lot on if the jungle actually comes and uh ganks and affects that lane I think that's kind of the same thing going on top lane as well. Fiora could kill Orn, but most of the time he should be able to get out yeah. if he doesn't play too too aggressive. It's a Dark Harvest Swain. <laughs> Just trying to go for the one shots. I guess. All right. Can you swap? Um, oh, the, the players. I, yeah, the players. Can you them tab or hold them? Maybe. Can you just pull them from place to place? Um. Oh yeah, we can do that real quick. Get everybody where they're supposed to be. There we go. There we go. All right. And, and objective timers as well. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Boom. All right. There we go. Oh, looks like. So oh, looks oh, like oh, early, a lot of early damage. Yeah. Swain flash. The support and an early first blood coming in for. Wow. Okay. Missouri Baptist University. Yeah. Uh, faster than we were able to react to. <laughs> yeah, that was a quick invade. Yeah, they. 
immediately just went through mid lane. So yep. I, Macarena was uh, uh, way, little way little out there, yeah, yeah, in the pixel bush, um, especially with no team to back her up. Yeah, there. with uh, Geronimo getting that early Raptor ward and uh, J-Rod just staying in top lane, so she didn't really have support. So you can see the Missouri Baptist University bot lane here playing a little aggressively into the uh, into Park's jungle. I don't know if yeah, this is like for an invade or just for wards or... Uh, they might try to... Yeah. Uh, I, uh, they, well, they have vision on them, yeah. but they don't know. I'm not sure exactly what they're looking to do. It looks like perhaps a uh, invade, maybe a cheeky ward over the wall. Here. Yeah, because oh, I think they still think... Yeah, in. they still think they're there okay. to collapse on them. So, so this yeah. is actually kind of good because now Lux will be able to control Wave. And yep. Oh, I don't know what J-Rod... Oh, J-Rod's leashing. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So up top, Park's leashing the top side. I think they know their bot side is compromised, mm -hmm. so they're letting the bot go. Yeah. And so Geronimo should recognize here that he's getting invaded and should try to steal the enemy red buff as return. Now, the enemy red buff does have a ward on it, but... Yes. Uh, it looks like he is going directly to his drop. We'll see... Very good poke yep. by Panda. We'll we will see how he reacts to the pathing here. Lee could immediately run towards his red buff and just try and go uh, in a diagonal pathing there to stop the invade from happening. Oh, we should mention this is uh, J-Rod's oh, uh, collegiate, collegiate yeah, debut it. as well. So make sure you give him some support. And Oh, Lee Sin coming up from behind. Early yeah, gank, Deronimo could run down. <laughs> it looks like he's just going to run straight to red buff instead. I don't blame him. A, yeah. Good That's attempt at living there from uh, Parks mid lane, but an unfortunate demise coming for him. Yeah, when they, they left the bot side jungle, they kind of just left a big black hole of vision there. Yeah. And, you know, it's safer to, to not try and get vision there, but you yeah. know, then you're not aware of the Lee Sin and, wrapping and around. Geronimo might be in trouble if Lee Sin finds him because Orn has top prio and can just collapse. Yeah, yeah, he's also right very next to low HP. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, that's just like Q. So low that I feel like he could die. To <laughs> die to Krugs? It might be better for him. Okay. Uh, so he got, um, got oh, Krugs. Lee should okay, know. He missed now the Q. Yeah, yeah, he's he's leaving though, so that's all right. Yeah, he knows. He knows what's going on. He's leaving. Okay. And then in the he's top also, lane, Orn's really pushed in here. Orn's but, pushed in, but uh, J Rod had to back because he got so poked yeah, out by the early Orn. He should TP back. Okay. Yeah, because that's a really big wave. A lot of good oh, poke oh, okay. onto that Soraka. Soraka taking a lot of damage. Panda's super low. He needs the back because that's a that's a EQ too waiting to happen. To say yeah, with Fizz there, especially if Fizz with Electrocute, all he needs to do is. Uh, I think he just needs there. a playful trickster. <laughs> Dead. Oh, and Center Root coming on to. That's actually Wayne. a good return poke Senna from Park. Oh, oh, that's a, a kill, shot. kill for Park. Really good for Park's bot lane. Unfortunately, Panda fell for Fizz, like we were saying. Yeah. You see Fizz also has a dark seal, so he's got yeah. four stacks on it already. He already has three kills. Okay. Oh, he got the yeah, kill got the first on, uh, blood and then on Swain. First blood, the kill, two kills mid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And it looks like he's roaming down because they're oh, super see, low, they and he has Flash Ignite low. up. Parks are coming, pings are coming up from Park. Um, they should. Pa the Park bot lane is backing, but yeah. it does not oh, look like Oh, okay. Out. They Holy. stopped their backs for some reason. Yeah. yeah. One goes down. It's two going down. And Flash and, uh, will not save him. And Fizz Yikes. is up four and zero with seven Dark Seal stacks. So. Soraka took, <laughs> Soraka took one of them okay. for some reason. Well, Sora a fed Soraka can win you the game sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> but looks like J Rod's easing into things a little bit, finding his stride because he's caught back up to CS. Does have a big wave push. Yeah, on top. and he's not being as aggro with his poke, which is. What do you need to do? Ooh. Does look like Horn engaging here. Yeah. Uh, J Rod could go in for another trade and make it a little more even. Now, Ocean oh, Dragon. Stuck on. Oh, he Ocean should, should be fine to get out here. Ocean Dragon is coming up in three seconds, and Ocean Dragon by itself is one of the one of the best dragons you can get solo. Uh, you can't see it right now, yeah, but because it's what five percent uh, yeah. every mm -hmm. three yeah. seconds or something. So it is. Posturing very aggressively. A good, uh, good snare coming in from Lux, but not too much poking yeah, going for it. Getting really Oh, good parry. Yeah, parry. actually, I think... I don't think oh, he's flash. No, he could get flash, though, 100%. Is vital. Oh, 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 nice. And... A solo, solo kill, maybe? Oh, come on, oh, come Riot. On. Okay. Uh, okay, looks like he doesn't get it. Yeah, he didn't burn flash either, but it's good, because yeah. now... I don't think Orin oh. has... Health regen, does he? This is, That's uh, a good flash. This is a if, really... If he would have uh, flashed the other way, that would have been really clean. Yeah. Really intense scenario yeah. here. 
It looks like both junglers are looking towards top oh, side. Oh, it looks like yeah, the rocks down mid. Oh, oh the good snare. There. That's good. a good it's trade because he got the shutdown. Yep. Yeah. It actually so, works out in Park's favor. Yeah. 400 gold shutdown go into Park. And then yeah, trying to return some damage, but unfortunately, the Park AD carry does go down. Yeah. And you can and see that, that bully presence coming yeah. up from yeah. Missouri Baptists. And unfortunately, Swain doesn't have really any CC or peel other than his hook. A good snare that, coming in, yeah. but the uh, Park support has to be really careful here about actually playing forward. And nobody's really contesting that dragon right now. Yeah, there's no vision by either team, which is interesting, especially since uh, Missouri Baptist has priority in most of the lanes. Yeah, they can take it practically for free, but they haven't gotten to it yet. I would say that maybe they're looking more towards the... Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a tough trade. Almost 100% that the... Yeah, if this might get another kill. Okay. Yeah, might okay. get going. Um... But it's possible that Missouri Baptist University is looking towards the Rift Herald, but that's still up in a minute, so they should have time to take Dragon. Yeah. Oh, a good Q uh, coming yeah. in from yeah. Lee Sin and a kill going to Missouri Baptist. Well, Very we're... aggressive game so far. You see a lot of danger pings on the bot side of the jungle on Park side. Yeah. Darnamo's aware that Lee Sin is in the, in the vicinity. He's scanning for vision right now. Um. Lee Sin's kind of low. I think he's trying he to. Know. Okay. Yeah. So Lee Sin looks like he's backing out of yeah. the jungle. Duran unfortunately walks away from his red buff, so he's not going to be taking them. Kind of just forcing Yeah, I think he time. still thinks he might be in there. Yeah. And but Fizz is there, actually. He's coming back bot lane. Yeah. Uh, some things coming out from Park. Duran does not see Fizz coming in. Yeah, this he, is unfortunate. They're going to tower dive. Yeah, Fizz has ultimate. And, it's and Lee Sin is on Dragon as well. So. As well. Yeah. yeah. A good old going in from Fizz, and there's a second one. Oh, uh, so rocket kill at though. least going in for Park. So some kills getting on to Park's ADC, which is good for him. And looks like they'll take the dragon uncontested. Doronimo is walking to his top side. So Yeah, right now they just They need to farm up because they're they're real low and comparatively in golden level, it's just Yeah. It's hard to contest anything, especially when they don't have any vision. Unfortunately, in the mid lane, it's going to be very difficult to actually farm up with uh, his ability to go untargetable. The tower will just forget about him after. Yeah, after yeah, he ties yeah, and that, that's the problem with most assassins that get fed. But uh, uh, yes. there could be some wave manipulation pushing yep. it in. Fizz, uh, Fizz has picked up his mages. He's got eleven stacks. Yeah, he. Uh, the panda does have both sums up. So if there was a tower dive, there could be a potential outplay. The Park bot lane is not in a terrible situation right now. Down about 30 CS, which isn't great, no. but at least I don't think they should advantage. be pushing this. I think that they are, uh, they're just kind of matching the push right now. Because Missouri Baptist University is just constantly uh, constantly trying to shove in. Gerard's okay, not actually doing bad, but unfortunately, Orn has Bramble, so any damage that the Fiora does will go back to her. A lot of good damage coming in from oh, Park in the bottom okay. here, but I don't think they're able yeah, they're to kill. Not, oh. Yeah, they're not six yet. Oh, this is all Macarena healing. is, but... This is all the healing that yeah. came out from the uh, Missouri Baptist I think they're actually going to pick up the Senna. A lot of damage oh from my. Park. Oh, oh my god. Oh, okay. Super close. Wait, the Soraka. Soraka wow. with the with the solo kill onto... And it looked like here. they did end up uh, tower diving Panda, or they caught yeah, him out? That was a good parry. They're going to actually pick up the Orn. It's a great bait coming from Park. And looks like another dive's about to come in here on the bot lane. Yeah, they're not having a good time. If <laughs> she's able to survive for 15 seconds, she can get that uh, get that stopwatch up. But unfortunately, they were just a little too quick on it. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of options there. Park does have a bunch of vision towards Rift, and they see there there's a lot. Yeah, bot, so I would almost risk the Rift at the point they are right now, just to get some pressure. Yeah. Drone looks like he's clearing vision. Oh, oh TP and the coming TP. out from the Orn, it yeah. looks like. Yeah. Which is an interesting teleport. Possibly just to save the vision. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a little too aggressive. We'll see. I don't know, popping the blast cone. Oh, oh Fizz is back in the bot lane. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Senna, do they just permanently rotate their laners, it looks like? I think that they just yeah, send they... Senna mid to farm here. Yeah. yeah. 
it looks like uh, League of Legends doesn't think that Fizz's kills are important anymore because they stopped showing us them <laughs> on the spectator. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like... A kill perhaps not. going out for Senna? Doesn't Senna doesn't like have it. ult. They have to give the tower bot lane too because they can't contest. <laughs> Another little bit of poke coming in on that yeah. uh, park mid lane. That's exactly why they can't contest. Fizzle. An unfortunate stopwatch. I don't think that's going to help at all. No, it didn't get the dark harvest. Dark yep. harvest stack, but. Okay, Fior did get time at, so she is healing now. So I think she can trade a little easier. She didn't. She well, took. Does apply that's the Fiora ult. Yeah. Uh, he also didn't take Ooh. corrupting though, which was real unfortunate. I think corrupting would have been better. Mm -hmm. uh, but if if he would have hit the fourth vital there and got the ult off, yeah. that would have been a kill. Yeah, for someone as tanky as Orn is, it's surprising how much magic damage he can put out. And the, um, what is that? Uh, what's his passive called? The... I don't remember what it's called. Brittle? But yeah, Brittle. Yeah. Also so does true damage, doesn't it? Yes, I believe it does true damage. It also increases the amount of time that you are CC'd, so you're stuck in place for even longer. Yeah. Uh, it makes it really difficult for Fiora. That's why whenever she's able to parry those, uh, parry those stuns and knockouts, it's super good for her. Uh, unfortunately, J Rod is kind of wasting his parry occasionally. Should be trying yeah. to save that entirely. I think they should fight Macarena this. Because especially since be the ult just. Oh, okay. I think I was a Senna's a little more, a little stronger than them right now. A good route. Oh out, yeah, but I don't the Fizz is coming in. Uh, uh, good attempt yeah. of a uh, giveaway there. I think Fizz is gonna get almost a double, has ult and has flash, so he should be able to die. He has playful up. Tower. Yeah. He'll make it out just fine. A 9k gold lead for Yeah, Missouri and Fizz Battles. has full uh, stacks on his Magi's, yep, too. 25 stacks. What are all the passives that that gives? Uh, increase is. magic so, AP, I think. Increase yeah. speed as well. If you have increased 10% movement speed, if you have at least 10 stacks. So, so he runs real fast and does a lot of magic damage. A good okay, stun coming good out, stun. but I think that he's still going to be able to get that knockout. Oh, and unfortunately, he flashed oh, back into the... That was real unfortunate. Oh, and a dodge on the Lux Q. Panda will go down. It's a lot of yeah. damage coming out. Oh, with Fizz the proto, proto belt. belt, unfortunate. A lot of damage coming out from all lanes here for Missouri Baptist University. And then Soraka looks like she's just going to heal everyone back up. Drano trying to save this tower, but he really shouldn't walk up here. He's likely no, just going to yeah. end up getting killed once the tower falls down. Uh, oh, bad Q in, most likely. Yeah. Uh, he's trying to bait for the ult. Oh, okay, he just... Got wiped. <laughs> yeah, you have 25 stacks. That's you, you don't even really. That's, that's a full item that you paid half price for. Yeah. Yep. So, and he's already got a lich bane as well. He is rolling in cash. Yeah. So he's three items and tier two boots. So he's you can watch out everybody. Yeah. That's 13 like minutes. He's already got. He's Dragon already got is back up right now. Yeah. Yeah. So Missouri Baptist will more than likely just move towards it. I'm surprised they're not trying to take Rift. They haven't attempted to take Rift yet. Uh, I know that early in the season, the teams were prioritizing Dragons over Rift, so it's likely that uh, they're maybe still stuck in that mindset a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like Lux is about to go down again. Basically, once you see Fizz, you should know that you're, uh, you're pretty much dead at that yeah. point. The mobility that he has once he's within melee range of you is just insane. And we got two members of Park in the top lane here, but I don't think they're yeah, going to be able to kill Orn. He's got uh, uh, only armor. Oh, yeah, Fiora has no man. Okay, there's three, so they should be able to pick something up. Three, but then that's a lead a, as well. That's a right lot now. of armor, yeah. Okay, there's one Actually, this is not bad. Okay, then my Fizz is here. <laughs> well, Fizz has arrived and uh, ruined everybody's day, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fizz is 16, 1, and 5. Because it looks like they're giving free farm to Macarena. Even though I think Caitlyn should be in that lane, or yeah. uh, speak Russian. Uh, so, this is this is the point in the game where you tell your team it's okay. Fizz will get full build and he won't get any stronger. Exactly. <laughs> Eventually, there's no way he'll get stronger, and so we just gotta catch up. Uh, looks like a kill is going to come in for Missouri. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, a little bit of a waste of flash it looks like, but we got Sentinel, really which was really nice. Oh and, Fizz. oh, and here comes Fizz. He spills blood in the water. He at least doesn't have ult this time. <laughs> oh, no, they do have Rift. Okay, they dropped Rift. 
Uh, Rift is going to go down before they yeah. actually take a tower, which I think kind of wasted there by uh, Missouri Bastion. They should University. be able to clear wave, so that's real, real fortunate for Park. <laughs> and, and, is trying to contest and, it, the and if they team. if they realize Fizz is top, they should fight this because I think they can they can win these like little skirmishes like with a number advantage, but they're very spread out right now. So it looks like two people. Instead, two people went up to yeah. yeah. Trying to respond to Fizz, uh, Lux is likely going to go down yeah. here. I would have given that uh, tier two top because all of them have shutdowns, and I would have I would have risked that. Fizz is level 12. What's the highest Park has? Uh, we will see whenever they Probably respond. Fiora, I would imagine. Yeah, I think I'm, Fiora is 10. I believe Fiora is 10 right now. Um, he is... Unfortunately, the Park bot lane, I think, is like level 7 or so, which is a little, little unlucky. Yeah, Fizz is completely out of control. He is really dominating this game. Missouri Baptist should be able to kind of just push down mid without Park being able to contest right now. Uh, looks like they're also pushing top lane at the same time, like we're going to get two inhibitors. And Fiora oh, J-Rod's 11. J-Rod's so 11. even even with his laner. Yeah, J-Rod's been doing well uh, keeping up. Yes. Uh, even though his score is 0-4, he yeah, it's, had some yeah. good plays. Duran stole a kill from him. He got assist, and then <laughs> he got, <laughs> he's been doing well uh, keeping up in uh, farm yep. because he's... What, 14 or 12 down now? Yep, he also had the back like level one, yeah. And so, keeping up after that's really good. So, everything in hindsight is not yeah. bad, although I think he's going for Cleaver now. Uh, it looks like, yeah, yeah. Looks he, like is, he is yet to finish an item, but yeah. that's I mean, usually you don't finish uh, finish team at you just get it for pushing, but. yeah. But I mean, at this point. And Lux goes down uh, again. Fizz just bullying at this point. Air Dragon is up. You can so see Fizz jump in. I doubt he even needs to proc the uh, proc the electrocute at this point for him to get kills. I'm pretty sure there's just two abilities. Oh, he has a Rabidons already, so he probably has 400, 450 ability can power. You, can you click on Fizz real quick? Yeah. Because we can see the... Oh, we might have to click on, on his character yeah. model. Uh, he has 622 Okay, 622. A little, bit, a little bit more than I thought he had, but... <laughs> oh, but we got a, a, a little damage coming out of this. Almost a lot. Send Magi's. And then Fizz's passive makes him... Fizz at least whiffing his ult there. Yeah, it takes less damage and can walk through minions. So, you know. And Lee Sin Q. The park AD yeah. carry has gone If he down. ults, out, oh, good ult. A good ult looks like... Alright, the, oh, the, the tower does not have a target. Half of his hit, hit points. And Fizz looks like he may just be cleaning up the rest of the team okay. here. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Maybe he'll go down to towers. He is taking a lot of damage. No, okay. Uh, yeah, just Soraka old, and he has playful tricks. They're probably on like an eight second cooldown. So. And Sin is finally arriving late to the party here. Uh, looks like Missouri Baptist University yeah, it looks will like be game finishing out the game here. Mm -hmm. And we will see what Park does in games two, game two to try and fix these, uh, try and prevent these things from happening again. All right. Well, we're going to go to a break real quick, and then we'll be the 10 right minutes, back. right? Yeah, 10 minute break, I believe. So we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Um, so it looked like so normally there is a break, but it looks like that both teams just wanted to just kind of jump straight into it. Jump, yeah, jump right into it. So having Andy and a Shaco ban. Uh, repeat of the Shaco ban. Yep. The um, team is still in a weird order. Yep. Still in. Yep. And the exact no, not the exact same wrong order because Macarena is now in the fourth position instead of J Rod. So mm -hmm. we will see how that, how that affects the pick order. <laughs> But it looks like the same band's coming out from uh, Missouri Baptist University. It worked last time, so why not this time? Uh, I, I'm hoping to see a Fizz band coming out from Park, because that seemed to be kind of the root of their problems. I know that Geronimo <laughs> hates playing yep. against that Lee Sin, so could expect that one too. But uh, we, we will see how that goes. I, uh, I honestly don't think that the other lanes were that big of an issue other than Fizz. I think mm -hmm. Lee Sin could be viewed as annoying, especially with that early invade, but the uh, the bot lane and the top lane seem to go decently well for Park. I mean, they got behind, but they also got behind after Fizz came down and one shot them. So right, the especially in the, in the you know in the top lane with uh, Jared doing mm -hmm. a pretty good job up there. So. And looks like an Aphelios coming out from Park. The second newest AD carry coming out from Riot Games. And a Caitlyn as well. So maybe an Aphelios mid or top or somewhere uh, other yeah. than bot lane. Uh, uh, looks like Seth. Santa Fizz, which was nice. Yep. Yeah. And it looks like they picked Olaf as their jungler as well, so they don't have to worry about it soon again. Another Soraka, another top tier pick. And, and set and as set. well. Yeah. yeah. So both of those just really high quality picks right now, or all three of those. Uh, it looks like Sejuani coming out, which is a little unfortunate against an Olaf. All the CC that she gets is just nullified by uh, by his ultimate, but mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes for them. Uh, Park should be looking for some mid lane. Oh, wait, that's an Aphelios mid. Yeah. yeah. I just realized that. That's yeah. interesting, for sure. Which, I mean. I don't know. I haven't played Aphelios because I think <laughs> I mean I don't think Riot needs to come out with characters like that. But yeah. <laughs> with the turret, because um, the turret has ammo, right? The turret, yes. has, the turret has ammo. I think it could work in the mid lane because he does have poke. He does have sustain. Yeah. His life steal. He has literally everything. Yeah. I think that he just wants to farm up a lot more yeah. than mid lane would allow him, though. Unfortunately. Um, you get solo XP though, which is nice. You do get, you do get solo XP, and his level ups provide <laughs> stat improvements <laughs> rather than ability improvements. They kind of go hand in hand with it instead yeah. of the classic champion model. Uh, Lee Sin ban coming out. I think Olaf's going to be a jungle, but he yeah, could be top. I don't maybe know. they're just doing it just in case they're going or they're deciding that uh, they'd rather ban yeah, I Lee and yeah, make I would sure think that there's set no is top though. So. Yeah. No chance. Not of it's interesting around. that they uh, wait so long to pick their support. Um, it may be because they already. Uh, I mean, Sraka is kind of a flex pick right now as well. But it, they did. Pick, yeah. They did pick top. Well, I, I mean, they they first pick. They had the park had first pick. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So they wanted to prioritize the Aphelios, which I don't think the Aphelios was banned last game, was he? Mm -hmm. No. Seemed very little. Fiddle six mid. Or Soraka top maybe. Uh, fiddlesticks jungle set middle off top. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's or fiddlesticks. Okay, uh, thresh support rocket top and set so mid. Set mid all off jungle. No, Aphelios into set. I I mean I've never set, seen set played mid. Set set's weakness is range champions. Yeah. So at least they counterpick somehow into. Oh no, it's a set a jungle. Set, is that a? It's a Soraka mid boys. It looks like they're playing Park's bread and butter against them, unfortunately. <laughs> everyone everyone knows that uh, R3V Band uh, is a, uh, is a Soraka. avid Soraka mid supporter here. So uh, we'll see how it plays out in Collegiate. Maybe we've just been underrating oh. this pick the whole time. There's also a Sun at top. There is. So there's three ADs on... Oh, they're, really? They have Interesting. No AD they they got a lot side. of a lot of priority AD picks. I won't I won't <laughs> deny them that. 
Ophelia's Caitlyn Wait, and Senna are all strong. Yeah. I... They, they have no AP. No, neither really. I guess Sorok is the only AP for Missouri Baptist either. Yeah. I mean, they both have... They've, yeah, the other problem is... They have some AP damage. Like uh, Missouri Baptist is tankier. Yeah. Uh, and well, especially Sejuani, with the Olaf and the set, they're just going to run in. Sejuani yeah. Nautilus are tanky. True, but Olaf set Thresh. Yeah. Or, it's, and they have yeah. a Soraka to back him up, yeah, too. And, and they have yeah. a Sivir ult that makes him go even faster. <laughs> I, I think it, this game is going to be rough for both teams eventually i think <laughs> <laughs> I, I if this game goes anywhere past 25 minutes i can see the tanks on both teams being alive the end yeah. of the fight fighting for another 15 seconds before one team yeah. wins so the nice thing is if they cannot waste their cc on the olaf yeah they can both take care of people that are trying to run in with the sejuani ult nautilus auto hook ult they should be looking. There's also to, the Aphelios route too. Yes. Yeah. They should be looking to hard target that Soraka, I think, though, <laughs> so that they the can. The problem just is stop. they don't have anywhere to get to. Yeah. The Soraka. <laughs> well, they have all their range to carry. True. Uh, That's... Well, Aphelios doesn't have. Unfortunately, global range yeah, anymore. Aphelios yeah. doesn't have global range on his old. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you can't dive the AD carry if you have three AD carries. True. That, I think <laughs> that that's true. the strategy they're going for. So here. it's Even like, hey, you might pick one, hooked. but we have two more. Let's yeah. go. Even if one of us gets hooked, at least we have another one uh, up behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely a very... Perha perhaps a failing strategy coming in. Whenever one soldier falls, just another one takes its place. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> what, what do you think of said jungle? You being a jungle man, that's not bad. I think he's a better top laner. He's he, he has decent clear. His ganks are kind of mediocre. But yeah, I don't think that he has necessarily the movement to get into a gank effectively. Yeah, I mean, if, if he can get behind you, you definitely don't want to have him yeah. behind you in yeah. the tower because he will ruin your day. But um, it's not bad. It's just it's just I I think it might be. It might be good against Sejuani, but <laughs> because a lot of the jungle meta right now is to try and take as much of the other jungler's jungle as you can, and so Set will just bully Sejuani off of anything that they try to take. Mm -hmm. So We can look for an early uh, invade coming through Missouri Baptist University, though. The, with the Thresh there and the Soraka slows, Olaf can essentially perma-slow with the Q reset. Well, the question is... Does Park have the better level ones with the three ADs? I'd, and just auto attack everyone to death? With the Nautilus, uh, they, they might. So Dwani starts yeah. Q. Well, if it's it, Ram, whoever is running it. If it looks the same as it did last time on the level one, it won't matter because it'll be one person getting yeah, caught you're right, you're instead right. of five. But if I mean, it's a if it's a solid five v five, Park could win. Yeah, and you know, Demacia has been known to do their yes. to do their uh Five man invades, so yeah. Uh, I'm I'm real curious about how this Senna's gonna fare, especially into an Olaf. You do have to remember that Aphelios doesn't have an ability level one. He gets at level two, so all he has is his auto attacks at level one. That's all he needs. <laughs> it's freaking like weird sickle things he throws. Yeah, the yeah. his pistol and sniper are the two that he will start with here. So we'll see what Park decides to do. Yeah, because I'm trying to remember. So his his sniper gives him range, his pistol gives him life steal. Yes. The flamethrower lets him root and slows, right? No, the flamethrower does the spread. The, the, the gravitum uh, slows and roots. And then the chakram lets him throw out the, the turret, right? Yes, it throws out turret, and then the closer you are, the faster your attack speed. I, is. I think it removes the attack speed cap, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, just like whenever it returns to you. So it looks like a five-minute invade yeah. is coming out from Missouri Baptist University and Park perhaps invading a little bit on the top side of the map. We will see if they're getting caught out. And this is, oh, they, they will yeah. have a ward on it. j so will see it. playing support? Yes. It looks like, oh, Not it's like a flash hook coming in from Thresh and it looks like an early kill coming out for yeah. him. Uh, J-Rod pathing the wrong way, but at least gets out with a flash there. Yeah. Um, I was uh, trying to dodge the Thresh hook. There's but, a flash for a flash. And first blood going out to, I don't know, could you put the score back, oh, yeah. please? So... To set. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so first blood going to the jungle set there, it looks like. 
So it's an it's Macarena in the top lane is Nautilus and J Rod as support. So I think that that is somehow a worse matchup. Yes. Because Nautilus should do worse against an Olaf than especially a ranged I don't know entirely what Macarena is doing right there. I think that they're invading. I think that uh, Duran is right next to him. Is this, okay. The character models were on top yeah, of each other, so I couldn't tell exactly. So, okay, that makes more so sense. Set has a broadsword now, so he's going to invade because he has... An early game coming in from Thresh mid, it looks like. Is he going to hit another of the hooks? He's just walking straight up, going to force the flash or to run straight in. Oh, a okay, miss it. <laughs> misses Coming the out. point blank hook. But he still but needs to flash, the flash anyways. Um, so <laughs> an incredible gank coming out from Thresh there. Um, uh, uses the hook already. Uses the hook to get into the Yeah, minions. I think Olaf can just run the Nautilus yeah, down. Yeah, I think so that first blood may come, or second blood may come out uh, yeah. really fast here. And almost a trade kill for Park. Didn't get yeah, the auto it, off, it, unfortunately. Yeah. Or if he had a, if, if uh, Macarena had a hook. Yeah. Um, could you swap them? So oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Now you're trading hard. So... Okay, okay, I guess it's an Aphelios mid, actually, so yeah, we'll... And then the swap. Yep. Yeah. It's so confusing. <laughs> so, Aphelios yeah. could go down, I think, after one more Q here from Soraka. Uh, one rotation of abilities, and he will be done. Yeah. Yeah, what makes Soraka such a strong solo lane right now is her lane presence and sustain at the same time. She can bully you off of the wave forever and then beat you with her experience lead. She is specifically strong top lane because of all the melee champions up there. Um, yeah. Mid lane, it's a little worse. And Aphelios, I get, I suppose, would probably be okay because uh, he is ranged, so he can either match the poke or at least farm from a distance. But it hasn't been working out too well so far. I don't know. It's a lot of... I guess the Caitlyn in the match. On to Caitlyn. Bot lane's not awful. And but Caitlyn does like have flash up still, better, so she yeah. should be able to get out. And heal. And there's the Sunny Hill. We'll get away. Yeah, Nautilus, no mana. Uh, she... No, they they shouldn't be looking to bait or anything. They should just be backing here, I think. We didn't yeah. see the Q properly come out, but... Oh, is that just seconds. running in? Yep. Oh, they good hook, though. Oh. And the shield will I think sail. they're still going to get yep. it, though. Yeah. At right, least one kill for yeah. Mark there. Uh, good return. A little unfortunate about staying that long, but at least they were able to live through it. If it wasn't for that massive shield that Set yeah. gets on his W, mm -hmm. that he would have... Best, best hey, mechanic League of Legends dodge. has ever come out with. Grit. Perfect. <laughs> Keep it up, Riot Games. <laughs> but good, yeah. Good time. Park's doing some good, some doing yeah. well on the bot lane to handle all that pressure. And Soraka's already got a level advantage and a CS lead. So the one thing just... I noticed is <laughs> Geronimo has... <laughs> Basically been ignoring lanes and just solo farming. Well, when every lane is losing, you don't want to help them. Honestly, so, 20, though. It's it's a little harder. Like, this rock is way up. That should be an easy But the Felios is also at 200 HP. So yeah. they, they do see Set coming up. and set Oh, is the Thresh on. is literally right behind. Okay, so yes. I yeah. think, so I think the, Panda's I mean, going to be going down. Yeah. Oh, okay, miss, okay never mind. Um, I'm just gonna... But it is really tough to gank as a jungler when you have when all of your lanes are losing and they're all behind it um, at all points of the game. So I can I can understand why he's not able to. I mean, like right now, though, I think Sejuani should be level 2, level 3 ganking, or at least forcing some sort of pressure because the set's just going to bully her out of the jungle, and she's going to be behind anyways. And you can see set. Yeah. Coming in. Toronto trying does... to go for a, a little trade here, but he should be careful. Yeah, set w might good trades. good uh, smite though, but I think he still is gonna go down. A good slow, yeah, but yeah. doesn't look like yeah. it matters. No, so no reaction. Um, and I look for Macarena. Well, oh, you know, will she, she get the kill? A lot of damage, but I don't think she's got a lot of. Yeah, he does. If he takes a W, I think he's he, she's dead. He, he, oh, oh, very yeah. close. He, he sh I think he should have used his W a little, a little earlier. I don't. They did increase its cooldown. It may not have been up yet. Yeah, but. I think that he was probably using his uh, using abilities off cooldown there. So a flash hook from the Thresh, get brain perhaps on. Perhaps unnecessary flash hook there, but good kill nonetheless. Oh. Towers, <laughs> man. Just out of range. Aphelios looking, yeah, Aphelios coming down to gank. No, Geronimo's just clearing Gronk. 
no, he's running. Maybe not. But okay. Well, if U.S. is way ahead, so this gank is kind of. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm mean, gonna pick up one probably. Got the Soraka ult off. Good if name. they waited for the Sejuani, oh, could have been a little bit better. Like, but Set is okay. coming. It looks like you're gonna get two, maybe. And uh, one for one right now. Go down. Uh, if they can get, get this, yeah. Yeah. They should if it gives it. it to speak Russian, that's good. Okay, good job. Uh oh. So two two kills on the Caitlyn. Soraka has arrived. She's going to get rid of that. That's a good Q, yeah. Caitlyn should die here, but Instead perhaps no. No return kill is going to come out. Coming in with the backup. So is that a two for two? Yes. Yeah. In Which is fine because I think Park uh, any any fight that they can trade evenly is good for Park. Yep. And right now it looks like Hungary Baptist is just pushing this tower down. Uh, Ritz, or Ocean Dragon is up. If they were to get that, that I'd be real unfortunate. Yep. Yeah. It, they were pinging it, so they are aware. They, they are planning on it. Although Thresh, Thresh here, is in the okay. Throwing in throttle okay lantern. lantern, but no one is over there to yeah. accept it. <laughs> Team. Just uh, yeah, he's he literally look for a dive here if I had to guess, but no, he well he's not six. Off. He can't dive quite yet. Uh, it's yeah, Natalie two v two mid or two v one mid lane at all points. It looks like the that's a good double lane, root. Looks like the bot lane has just transitioned from Missouri Baptist to the mid lane again. And looks like Missouri about uh, Missouri Baptist is also starting up the dragon. They should be able to take that down pretty quickly. And without These are real uh, quick rotations by Missouri Baptist. And it doesn't look like uh, Park's going to contest that. I don't think either. that they can. The 5 and one set is... They might be able strong. to take out the Soraka here. Oh, not level 6 yet, unfortunately. Oh, maybe if it gets headshot? Okay. Soraka does have barrier up still, so... Yeah. Could be looking for a, a little bit of... Might a, be baiting up the Flash. As well. A in hook the on the Aphelios mid, a good shield to save yeah. the park mid lane life. A lot of damage. Oh, oh that's a barrier. Okay, there's a barrier for Soraka. That's not that's not a bad trade. Olaf's running down Nautilus. Thresh is moving towards top side here. Thresh has just decided and that he uh, he, he doesn't, doesn't want to be yeah. in a lane anymore. He's still level four. I just want to point out, <laughs> level four at eight minutes is what you'd say when you're zero and five and not zero and one. But he has been affecting everywhere on the map, so he's been doing well otherwise. Yeah. But it's... Might not be too bad. Is he going to ult anybody? And he's taking tower damage while Olaf okay. free hits. Okay. A good dive, and everyone should live by it. Uh, Soraka is still sitting in the bot lane. Park, if they can get a little bit of poke onto her, yeah. she'll be able to kill. Though they do have to look out, because Soraka does have ult back up now. I'm waiting for like the flash Q auto E the, from the Soraka. Well, a lot of damage coming out for Park here. If they I get a roll, yeah. a little bit late on that trap from Caitlyn. Otherwise, there, she oh, should be okay. able to get the kill. A heal and uh, heal from Caitlyn and Soraka or uh, and Cinna there coming out to save the Park to carry life. And Missouri Baptist is on uh, Rift Herald at the moment, so I think they're going to take that without uh, too many problems. Cinna. Yeah. Building some odd items, in my opinion. Not finishing either one. Oh, wow. Whoa, that was actually kind of clean. And just going to run. And the hook. Oh, the freaking. All right. That's some really good synergy there. Oh. This might work out for Park, though. All right, uh, that's a flash from set. Oh, they got. It, it does we go got down. damage with the Ignite. Oh, yeah. that was unfortunate. And it looked like Aphelios went down. Fresh moving. As well. And a drop to Rift here. Uh, Nautilus does not have ult up just yet. I think they're going to take this Nautilus tower. Nautilus doesn't do anything here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they should take two towers with this Rift Herald. Hard pushing it down, uh, down the top lane. And, and it looks like a... Okay. okay. Looks like the game, the game froze there for a second. And Sivir's getting plates in the mid lane as well. So two lanes are being pushed out. Park's gonna try. And <laughs> Interesting. Play play walking too far yeah. And dying for it. Possibly Sejuani going down as well, but dashing behind the minion yeah. so Thrush can't get that hook. Sejuani's Sejuani is still not, yeah. only six. I mean, only level five. Unfortunately, the Sejuani, uh, Sejuani's jungle has been kind of taken away. Thrush now out leveling, and that's two kills oh, okay. coming out for Missouri Baptist University. And I think they're another gonna get tower. 
Park spotlight. They might. Is still... They might just they... run it into the nexus yeah. at this point. Yeah. Park is trading a bot lane tier two tower, which is tier one tower. No, oh, you're right. Sorry, tier one tower, which is not worth it. Either way, it would not be worth it. And there's the no, because this is an in him. They might end the game off of this. It doesn't really help. Maybe. Why? Because Sidwani's not level six yet. They're still pushing bot they lane. They really want this tower. <laughs> I... To now to give Park some credit. If they showed up, I don't know if they would have been able to push them off anyways. Yeah. So, getting the tower... If they die something. here, I think they, they lose the game. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty confident that they do die. And, and they, they, they might lose. lose the game, yeah. Um, Especially with the Soraka heals. So, this is a good example of why... The 380s might be able to clear out late, though. No. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, that's so much Soraka healing. Yeah, it's insane. So, no matter yeah. how much... I might have DM the Thresher early in the game, he definitely did pick it up later and start hitting the hooks. Uh, nice, another good one. He should have waited for the play there, I think, but then... Yeah, it looks like Missouri Baptist is going to close this one out. Yep. A nice tower texture there for the Shadow. Sivir's still just in mid lane, though, which is cool. nice. Uh, so they don't really have the damage with the Sivir not yeah, there. Yeah, they're, they're low on mana, although... I, yeah, they're low on mana. So, they do have a yeah. so it'll heal up. It's kind um, of a misplay for Missouri Baptist because the Sivir just stayed there and she didn't get anything out of it. Well, I think that if they're all applying pressure inside the base and they're able to push the mid tower, then it's pretty good for them. Um, yeah, I don't think they touched tier two mid though. No, I don't think they were. Able so to, I mean, yeah, Sivir got farm and free XP. Yeah. They broke tier one. Whenever the second rift spawns, they should be able to take that for basically free. They have all of the pressure in the top half of the map. Yeah. Uh, only thing that they don't dancing serve, rift. Yeah. Only thing they don't... Maybe that's exactly what they were waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they were just setting up the Dancing Rift. Um, but the next Rift is going to be spawning in about three minutes, so you'll see that at the 16-minute mark. Uh, the Dragon also did just spawn. Yeah, they Dragon did that. just spawn. They Which might just run it? it down and end the Mountain. game. It's possible. I think that running it down um, to end the game is like possible for them. I think that they can definitely tower dive pretty easily. Yeah, Phyllis is super low after clearing Raptors. But Park, if... If they're trying to match a 5v5, I think 380 carries can clear the wave pretty well. Um, so we'll see that. Trying to extend the game to 15 yeah. minutes. It does look like Olaf is splitting in the Ooh, bot lane. Oh, okay. hook coming out. That should be a good Wow, kill. all right. Uh, and I think that we're just going to see them take two more towers here, most likely. Yeah. So they're trying to clear the super minion in the top And Olaf's lane. in the bot lane, so that might they might get all three in Hibs here. Because all the, Yeah, I don't... I don't think uh, Geronimo should be clearing top wave. They should be giving that to one of the three. I think that if he doesn't clear top wave, it ends up crashing. Well, I mean, like, anyway. just give the gold to one of the, yeah. the three ADCs they can choose from. Nautilus took on the Soraka. Oh, that's a actually not a bad combo. Oh, oh, oh they are good. Nice. That was actually pretty clean for they, Park. Oh, another kill coming out from Missouri Baptist. They are Setch just is running literally in running in. Towers. Okay, good champ. <laughs> and Park catching... Catching three, three of them, yeah. yeah. Three all right. kills. Although there's still a lot of You got all the shut down, yep. so, so I think they we're still turning lose. it around, boys. I think they still lose two inhibitors, <laughs> so. Um, that was a good fight for them, yep. but it's a little, it's too little too late. Yep. Um, <laughs> but Mark is coming back up, trying to stop the Olaf, and unfortunate with their... Oh, that was another oh. hook, okay. Just a lot of damage coming out from that Olaf. He might continue trying to run them down. That is just He's definitely going to continue running them people. down. <laughs> okay. He almost got one. He almost got he one. He almost got it. It might maybe a little bit of an aggressive play coming in from that Olaf, but when you're 7 0, you got to try something, right? I mean, hey. <laughs> Missouri Valley is pinging the Rift Herald. They might be going for that spot yeah. in 40 seconds. So. Or Missouri Baptist. Yes. I don't know who on part got all of the shutdown goal. I, was Sejuani, it Aphelios? Sejuani got one. Aphelios got one. Senna got one. Did Aphelios get multiple or just one? No, I think it was one for each of them. I know okay. Sejuani got one, and I know Senna got one. So, I mean, in all, in all honesty, not the worst. No. Uh, ideally, Sejuani wouldn't get it, but I think in that yeah. situation, you really just want to kill them before yeah, they kill you. Yeah, you'll just take it. Sejuani so, is level 9 now, so... Yeah, almost caught up in levels to the set. Uh, 40 CS behind still. Uh, and a lot of items. Honestly, I don't want to look at the CS differences on, <laughs> on part <laughs> side. Um, at least the support is ahead. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thresh, Thresh doing a little poorly on stacking that support item, but that's okay. He at least got his first tier rewards. Yeah, they need to funnel the gold in 